Hey everybody, Autobot John here. Happy Saturday. <laughs> uh, man, where do I start with this? Uh, whew. Hang on, I'm sorry guys, I'm just a little bit tired. The uh, project I told you guys I was going to work on a couple of days ago, I just started it last night. And I've almost finished it, but I'm taking a break. I just want to show you guys what I had uh, in store. All right, if you remember, I told you that one of the things I was going to try was uh, my life sizes. Uh, I was going to try to add some life to them, I guess is what you call them. And unfortunately, I don't have $800 to go buy a mannequin that, you know, is super poseable or, you know. Uh, and they'll run you. Um, let's see, I called the other day. And I don't remember the exact place it was, but it was a place in New York. I remember finding it on Google. And they have mannequins, posable mannequins that you can pose and everything. Uh, with shipping, it's about, they're about $350. That's still cheap for a mannequin, but um, right now, I just don't have it. And uh, I'm trying to save up what I do have. So, you know, you do what you got to do. Uh so anyway, I, I went online and I've been checking out people and uh, uh, I've been asking questions around on Sites of Freaks and I've had people at, uh, answer me. And uh, my old art teacher had uh, told me the other day that uh, there is a way to do it. So I figured, what the hell, if I mess up, I can just buy me another $150 mannequin. They're cheap. I can get it in two days. It'll be the same pose, but I mean, you know, it, it won't be that bad. All right, first of all, Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm out of breath. I've been at this all day. I stopped to eat lunch, came back. I've, I've just been at it since last night. I haven't slept. Um, I'll sleep tonight because I'm off tomorrow and Monday. So, anyway, let me show you the materials that you will that I used. Um, well, I can't show you one of them because uh, there's none left. But I went to Walmart and I bought uh, uh, foam pieces they're like this big i think they're used for like um insulation or something um they're about this thick they come with little uh stickers you peel it off and then you can stick it to stuff but they bend i bend them all over the place i tried to rip them and it didn't rip so i was like okay cool this will work that's what i use for the arms um then i went to lowe's and i bought this i'm sorry this is Multi-purpose wire, 50 feet, and it's 15 by 2 meters. This is really good stuff. It's really thick. You'll need wire cutters to be able to cut it, but this is what I used for Freddy and Arnold, and this is what I used for Superman, uh, and it worked. All right. So anyway, if you remember the other day, I told you I was going to try to rework him to uh, pose where he's like this. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, you see how my arms are and you don't see any space in between. On a mannequin, that is very hard to do. In fact, damn near impossible because there's too heavy, too much force. I'll find a way eventually, but for now, he, he's like this. I mean, it looks good, but you can see a space in between. Don't judge me on that. I'm going to try to fix that. Also, you'll notice that some of his uh, muscles are not completely done. Remember, I'm still working on this. It's just what I have so far. I'm very happy with how he's coming out so far. I've also upped his height a little bit more. I had some padding to underneath the feet to make him taller. I uh, extended his neckline a little bit by stuffing underneath the neck. Um, upped his cape a little bit more build him out a little more. I mean, he looks really good. Now, first of all, I'll answer one question that I know everybody's going to ask me. Did I succeed on making him posable? Very much. Before I put the hands on, I, I had him up like this. I had him with his hands behind his back. I had him like this on his hand, his hands on his hips. I had him like he's ready to fight. I had him like this. I mean, I had him, basically, I made him posable. Hell, if I wanted to, I could have him like this. I mean, he's very, very posable. Will I ever pose him again? Not for a very long time. I got the pose I want finally. I'm going to keep him this way because, see, that wire is very posable, but I, it's very hard to keep 
posing and unposing him. So I got him where I want him, and I'm going to keep him this way. Now, what I was actually thinking of doing instead of stuffing him was building him up with clay. I don't have enough time to go get any. I, I mean, I just don't have enough money to go get all the clay I need. Um, I'll probably go back later on with plaster of Paris. Anybody that knows what I'm talking about, you know it'll work. And uh, that's what I did for Arnold. I, I pretty much made a s skeleton, and then I put the head up there, and I put plaster of Paris all around it and built up a neck, and it's connected. That's why the head can't be removed on him. But I'm probably going to do the same thing with Reeve. Don't know. Maybe later, but not right now. Anyway, um, yeah, so let me show you what I've got. Oh, and by the way, the reason you guys saw that green crap in the last video is because I had the gamma turned on too much. But I darkened it, so everything should be good now. You guys let me know if it came out okay, all right? Here we go. All right. As you see, there's his boots. Um, those are real Superman the movie boots. A friend of mine made them. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Like I said, I, I, I've been in him all day and all night, so he's going to show it. All right. There he is. Now, let me show you uh, the pose pretty much. Bear with me, guys. I'm on my uh, camera again. All right, so there it is. Um, as you see, he has his arms crossed now. Like I said, don't mock me for this part. I'm going to fix that. Um, now, let me go ahead and tell you that these mannequins suck. Odell is right. If you're going to pay the money, you might as well get you a good one. But like I said, I do with what I have, and uh, I think it came out pretty good. But anyway... Um, as you'll notice, this hand right here is perfectly where it's supposed to be if you were to cross your arms. This hand right here is not. Um, what I did is I took some wire and I built an arm, another part of the arm, and these are removable. And they attach kind of like a Hot Toys figure. You pop them off and on. Um, maybe I can get different hands for them. I don't know. But uh, like I said, I'll go back and refix this. But there's the pose I, I'm going for. There's the pose on him. I'm trying to show you guys a far away picture of it. There it is. As you see, he's got his arms crossed. He's very uh, different from all my others now. Um, I built him up a little bit more, maybe a little too much. I'm going to go back and work on him some more. Like I said, he's not finished. He's almost finished. But uh, I just wanted you guys to see what I have. Um, I'll bring you more when he's finished. Uh, I told you guys if it worked, I'd probably do something with Bat with uh, with Batman and Arnold. Well, I might still. Freddy's probably next because I'm more than likely going to do something with Kruger. But. Uh, Shit, after all the heartache I've gone with him, it won't be any time soon. So let me give a shout out real quick to my boy Odell. Uh, Darth Magnus, Tuco Kruger, Sir Brad, Autobot Tom, Benjamin, Drake. Oh, by the way, Drake and Benjamin, if you're watching this video, I'm ready anytime you want to do that deal. I got to pay off something real quick and uh, get back with me on Monday. And uh, probably get your items out. And that means that Freddy head will be uh, recast probably for the next two weeks. So uh, anybody that was interested, uh, just hit me up and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I usually do how-tos on these on how to make these guys. I won't be doing this one because I'm not tearing this guy apart. But let me go ahead and put it to you this way. The body is a mannequin. There's no neck. I removed the entire neck so you put the head on. Uh, the arms are, the arms and the legs are wire. So he's basically a wire skeleton. But he looks awesome, and I'm happy with him. All right, guys, leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. Later.